Right, here we go. I've had problems with this. This is a pressure release valve, and it's I told you the bar on there. Look, I've got another one. Hopefully, I've got another one there. Look, and hopefully, that'll do the trick. These are about seven or eight quid. These this one's leaking. It goes, it's funny enough, it goes into the um, goes into the bathroom. And, it, and it's always been in here, I don't know why. I emptied it up this morning and there's, and there's water in there already, lot. It's not, that's not my toothbrush, it's a cleaning toothbrush. The pipe goes into there. Can anybody tell me where it's supposed to go? Because I have, I have no idea where it's supposed to go. Right, so that's leaking. What I've got to do is... I've got to turn the pump off. It shouldn't use a lot of water because 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 the uh, as long as you get rid of all the pressure. So what I'll do is I'll I'll turn the taps on, get get the pressure down, turn the pump off, and then uh, replace it. And the fingers crossed, it will uh, solve that. I'm just releasing the pressure from the system. That's it. Look, the pump's off, so the pressure's gone now. So I should be able to. take that off completely I'm just trying to yeah I can't hear any pressure behind there so it's time for that to come off right let's get some spanners I've never done this before so it's all it's all new to me so I'm not professional bear with me this is my first attempt at changing one of these pressure valves I've got no idea what's going to happen I was talking to the guy behind the counter at Midland Chandler's and he said it's uh, doesn't there's not a lot of water at the top of the tank, so it should be only a dribble coming out of here. Let's see, shall we? All this work I'm doing lately on the engine and uh, now this pressure valve, it's all on the side of the canal. I'm not in a marina. I'm not, I'm in the middle of nowhere, near to my van though, which is handy. But it's all done on the side of the canal. If I can do this kind of stuff, anybody can. this hey eh? what's that supposed to come out and that's supposed to come out there there's a fitting inside there that comes out as well there we are rippers that's got to come out as well for a burden but that should come out now Ooh, she has a bit of spillage perhaps I need to get a uh... there's a bit of spillage out of that I need to get a cloth for that arm I've just been I've just travelled 10 miles to get some PTFE tape Oh, look, looked everywhere. I looked everywhere for that. Oh, what? Never mind. I've got some new stuff now. I just want to get an old towel. I thought there'd only be a dribble coming out of this uh, top of the tank. There's a lot more water than what I thought. Spinach coming out of this. I mean, bearing in mind now, I've been in this spot for two weeks and my tank is almost completely empty, my water tank. tub here look to catch the uh to catch the water there's a fair bit of water coming out more than i expected i suppose it's the whole top level of that tank see so i think it lost about i don't know three or four liters every time i did this hint Let's hint just release that pressure a bit more just turn the tap on here just to relieve the pressure a little bit and it, and it poured out look at that open the tap up and it's pouring out a lot in it I'm catching it in that tub anyway so come on baby 
What is going on? It's got to come off there, look. Oh, solid. Why is it solid? That's it. There we are. So you've got to get all this off first. There's a new PTFE tape on there. I didn't know this, but you've got to put the PTFE tape onto the opposite way you're going to thread it in, which, uh, which I learned. Also, what I'm doing wrong here is putting the PTFE tape over the end of the thread, which caused a problem last time. So the PTFE tape got onto the valve and caused a leak. So always thread it slightly away from the end, which I'm not doing here, look, plonker. I did figure that out uh, later on when I uh, checked the internet, you know, as you do. To be fair, it's actually a, a pretty easy job if you can access the tank easy enough. And my tank's under my bed. It's just um, getting the sealing right, and, and when you tighten it up, you've got to make sure it's tightened up with the valve end facing the uh, pipes, you know, the drain pipe there. So it's got a bit more spanner in around a little bit just to get it round to that uh, to that pipe there. And it became very, very tight towards the end. I was getting ooh, a little bit nervous about getting it that tight. It was, look. Just a little bit more. It's not quite tight enough. Ooh, dear yourself. A little bit more. Don't snap anything, for goodness sakes. Just got to put this, uh, this fitting back in. I have to take this off to unscrew it, you see. So, just put that in. And put the pipe back on and tighten that up and then uh, fill it up again and try it. That's a tight enough thing, yeah. I'm just going to turn the water on. Fingers crossed. Let's turn the water on. The pump will go. I've turned the water on and I've purged it. You can hear it. Can you hear it as you twist that? Let's water through here into this into the spillage tub, wherever that is. So uh, all I can do now is uh, keep my eye on that. And if it still carries on leaking, then I've got a water pump pressure problem. Noticed. There's a little tiny leak on there. Is it? Yeah, there's a little leak. I'm gonna have to do it all again. I can see it lot forming. See it? Bastard! It's leaking, so um I've got to do it all again. <coughs> I don't think I put enough PTFE tape around it, so I'm going to put loads more PTFE tape around it so it all splurges out and then uh, try it again. It's got a little tiny weep on it, you know, so before it goes, isn't it? I'm an amateur, I'm not a professional plumber, so try again. This is test two now. Test two, can you hear the tank filling up? Turn the water off my help. I'm an idiot. God. I can hear it priming. It's a lot, lot tighter this time. Put a load of tape on it. Just hoping that get any air out. Can gather is that rubber 
inside there you've got a pressure valve a three bar on this so when it gets to three bar of pressure when it gets to three bar this valve opens rubber valve and lets the water out so, so your tank doesn't blow up it looks like this one had some old PTFE tape stuck behind it see now that's not very good is it which is causing it to slightly leak all the time and that's how you purge them you just twist that and that lifts that valve up and lets a bit of water out let's try and purge get the see it behind there look see that and that's let a bit of water out mmm it's not the problem sorted this, um, this valve will not stop leaking now now I've changed it I reckon it's because I haven't put the different ended lot see that there's a sort of a flat there's a flat washer style there lot and I put it that way rather than that way against the tank that's why it wouldn't stop leaking oh this actually feels this actually feels a bit rough around here could do with filing that down to be honest can find me file the uh, third time now I've done this I'm just hoping I'm leaving it now as it is I'm just hoping that I'm just hoping if you can see it and that's done the job now so the flat side of that joint is on that side now that's what I think the problem was I've got a head torch now it's so handy I can't look at it because it's blinding lot well I can't stop it leaking it's leaking from this section here I cannot stop that leaking uh, I want to try and think of putting some copper washers on there or something to try and stop the leaking Oh, what a dull. Why is it never straightforward? I just want to change the valve. I probably could have changed this to this valve here, look. Oh, why don't I just do that? And then inserted that into the... Well, you just don't know till you take it off. They stopped it leaking. Finally stopped it. I had to, I had to um, file it down a little bit. There you go. Leak averted. I had to file this edge down here, look, to get a nice smooth edge. Soap down there now. Well, at least it's done. That's the main thing. Thumbs up.